can slide up and down on the right hand side of the interface to choose shooting mode. Tap the recenter icon to recenter the camera. Tap the shutter button to start or stop taking video or photo. Tap the gimbal modes icon to set your gimbal mode and speed. Select slow follow or fast follow. Choose your gimbal mode. You can choose follow mode, tilt lock mode or FPV mode. Tap the playback icon to preview photos and videos as soon as they are captured. View and delete as needed. Move the virtual joystick left and right to control the pan axis and up and down to control the tilt axis. Drag the exposure bar up and down using your finger to increase or decrease the exposure. To fix the exposure, hold the yellow square box for a couple of seconds. You'll see a small lock icon bottom left of the box to show that the exposure has been locked. Tap the camera icon to switch to selfie mode. Using your finger, draw a square over the subject to enable active track. Press the green cross on the square to disable. Tap the invert icon to invert your shot. Tap the zoom icon and toggle the vertical handle to zoom in or out. Tap the auto icon to switch between auto and manual modes. Tap the quality icon to set shooting parameters. Tap the settings icon to adjust various parameters in the current shooting mode. Ensure pro mode is enabled and leave the default pro mode settings as they are. Tap the settings icon, then the gimbal icon to ensure gimbal easy control is enabled. From the same tab, click Auto Calibration to calibrate the gimbal and follow the on-screen instructions to recalibrate your gimbal. Tap the Settings icon, then the Grid icon. To erase all footage currently recorded on the SD card in your camera, click Format alongside Format SD card. Then click start when prompted to do so in the pop-up. Thanks for watching.